This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Walmart back here with another episode of Will, A Wonderful World. In the last episode, we saved, uh, we helped Alicia survive um, her dealings with the, the druggy guy that did tests on her. She killed a man, but in her luck, or perhaps unlock, she became the hired assassin of, of Ray, and now she's killing people for a living. Well, there goes her Catholic attitudes, right? Then again, what did it get her at this point? At least that's probably what her feeling is. And I just want to show you something real quick. If you go to the profiles, which I don't know if it showed this, but it shows each of the characters, and you can click on what kind of profile. Alicia's model has changed to her sexy sniper outfit. So sexy. Too bad she had to go through all the crap to get to that point. But it shows, and it shows new if there's like new new settings. Like if you look at a character, it'll have like their little, little, uh, little, you know, um, star things i might look over those at the end of the game or something like that just to show you like what happened and all this other stuff so anyway i just thought i'd show that that'd be neat so anyway let's go back to the story and check in with lee win and this new person that's gonna um uh add to it so we'll just do hers first since that makes sense so all right the weather had been getting warmer i sat on the roof of the classroom building watching the boys down at the basketball court they were trying to compete to see who looked the coolest while making a shot so childish. A few days ago, photos of me and Mr. Wynn had been posted on the school BBS and had, it had gone viral in the school. I had to explain the whole thing to Miss Yang and even the school supervisor. People in the school eventually learned that we were just neighbors and we had not been living together. Still, there were some trashy people who insisted that it was not a coincidence that we were living so close. There were even more, some more blatant people who were, would follow me after school. Dude, stalker much? However, those people were not going to get anything. Because ever since that day, I had not seen it myself. Oh, well, that's sad. He hadn't come to school. He hadn't been home. The lights went off every night. I didn't have the courage to go and knock on his door, even though it was right next to mine. Maybe he had moved away? Since I had bought him, brought him too much trouble? Just when my mind was racing all over the place, I got a test message from Jing. Breaking news! Mr. Wynn is back! The art class this afternoon will resume as normal! I couldn't believe my eyes. However, he must have gone missing all these days because of the photos and everything. If I went to his class, wouldn't people in class gossip about us? Then I'd be causing even more, even more trouble. But if I didn't go, people would still be gossiping, right? Well, the trouble is you can't, teachers and students can't have a relationship because, well, one, it, it suffers from a power dynamic, and two, you know, it will distract people. I'm not saying you can't get together, like older and younger people can't get together. It's just do it whenever you're not in that position of power. So that's why a lot of people are usually, you can get together after, if you leave the school, or if you get older, you know, when you're not even in that situation, then people are like, okay, now you're cool. And I can kind of understand that. Anyway. Uh, what should I do? The desert today in the school cafeteria was... Or the dessert. I don't know why I said desert. The dessert in the school cafeteria is yogurt. I opened a cup but didn't... But then didn't really have much of an appetite for it. Well, about your chocolate, precious chocolate milk. So I just left it on the table. It was so hot today. I moved my hands and knocked it over. The yogurt spilled all over the floor, making a big white mess. Gross. I took out some napkins and wiped the floor absentmindedly. By the time I was done, the art class was already over. I lay on the roof, staring at the gray sky. Another text from Jing. The classroom was full today. You should have been there to see how I shut those people up for Batman than you. Oh, and at the end of class, Mr. Wynn tore up everyone's sketches. This man. I probably should have gone to class. What should I do about the class of the day after tomorrow? Lee Wynn. Well, I'm sorry, I'm having so much trouble with with this. No, I'm saying it's, it's legitimate, I guess. All right, who's this new person? Bachelor Pad, keep out. Uh, I already did my surfer voice. Well, not really. <coughs> sorry, I want to do that. In the 113th minute, Mario Goat stopped the ball and hit a perfect shot. Goal. Argentina had lost in the World Cup final. It was over. Game over. Oh, come on. I had stayed up the whole night for this? I pounded the table as hard as I could. There was n and no one was going to complain anyway. Everyone already got home. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here watching the final all by myself. Gao Cow had been over a month ago. My best friends were all traveling around the country. No, around the globe. One would have been completely nuts to still be living in the school dorm. <laughs> yeah, yes, I was talking about myself. Well, Jimmy too. Oh, is this Rocky? Since my family was moving, my parents were both too busy with the jobs. They had told me to stay at home at school for a couple more days. What was worse, I had to be in charge of moving myself, so I was able to go out and have f some fun. Oh, the last summer high school wasted. I didn't know what Jimmy had been up to recently. See, it wasn't even 5 a.m. yet. He was already gone. 
<laughs> well, we wouldn't be spending too much money more days together anyway. Jimmy, it says father's business seemed to be going well now, so they wouldn't be going back to Hon going back to Hong Kong soon. I told him I'd like to do a formal send off for him. By formal, I mean just getting some grilled chicken wings and a grilled bar in your school. Uh, he said it was necessary. <laughs> what a killjoy! Uh, I was too tired. I decided to eat that apple before I went back to bed. I rinsed the apple off and put it on the desk. Actually, knocked it onto the floor. <laughs> You dare hide from me, Apple? I'm gonna wash you again, and you're still getting eaten. I looked down and noticed a basin under Jimmy's bed. It was giving off a faint smell. I had a bad feeling about this. I pulled out from under the bed of curiosity. Oh boy! Dear God! I, really, I didn't really believe it, God, but I had to call it his name. It was filled with dirty clothes and stinking socks, all submerged in water. The real problem, who knew all those things had been there? I didn't even dare to guess the age of the little mushrooms that were growing up and thriving on the clothes. A strong, sour smell filled the air. Just like that, I was sitting in the middle of our room for over an hour. Jimmy finally came back. I had decided not to go sleep, uh, not go to sleep just so I could confront about the disgusting thing. I had been staring at the entire time and felt like I would pass out at any moment. Jimmy, did you ever worry about us getting cancer with a chemical weapon like this in our room? Alright, alright, I'll clean it up now. And then he just dumped the entire base of the mushrooms on the common washing machine. Dear Lord! I had to call out his name once again. Jimmy had always been a great friend, smart, reliable, loyal. The only problem was that he could never cared about hygiene. I was always considering myself to be pretty messy, but I never imagined I'd meet someone even worse. I was stunned. Rocky. <laughs> the only reason he could get in the letters is because he called out to the gods this one time. You know, that's kind of funny when you think about it. Hey, I just realized. Have Jimmy and Rocky both graduated from high school already? Lee Wynn's letter was about something about that happened not long after the previous incident. She must still be in high school, right? You're right. Even though the letters arrived together for us, the events they experienced might not happen at the same time. So there is some weird time difference between the two. Hmm. In fact, they couldn't have happened days apart. They could have happened days apart, or months, years, even centuries apart. Well, okay, not centuries, but we get your point. For us, time is not an absolute concept. It's only relative. <laughs> awesome. We blew up with timey wimey. When we received our letters, to, it's probably to determine the casual leaks among them. For example, we received a letter saying that Jimmy would go back to Hong Kong after graduation. That means this event has been was well already bound to happen. I see. Thanks for that game. I, I think it's just to make up the point that why the time diff, why there's such a huge time difference between the the uh, the different characters and all that. So, all right, let's see what we got. So we got there. Okay, set that up. So we've got their bad endings already, or at least, or normal endings, I guess, in this case. All right. Um, let's see what we want to do. To... I assume they probably have one more bad ending than the rest will be numbered, at least from the looks of it. I could be wrong. could be wrong. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. That, that looks good. This shouldn't take too long since they don't have too many, so this should be pretty quick. I lay on the roof staring at the gray sky. I was counting the clouds. To go. Not to go. That is the question. To go. Not to go. Do you have a flowers on there picking petals off of it? I didn't know how many I counted before I fell asleep. I didn't wake up until it was already dark. There was a new text message on my phone. The classroom was full today. You should have been there to see how shut those people up for bowing you. Oh, the end of classroom. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. This guy. I probably should have gone to class. Uh, uh, that's the same. Just it's slightly different. She, instead of knocking the t uh, yogurt over, she just was just mumbling to herself. Jimmy always had it half-assed everything. He never followed through with anything. He would never let it if he didn't re teach him a lesson this time. Plus, I really couldn't stand this any longer. His dirty clothes and the mushrooms had spilled on the floor with the smelly water flooding throughout the room. Now uh, here came the star of the show. Jimmy just walked in. He let out a gross surprise and immediately walked over to his bed to pick up his precious gaming console. He even stepped over a few mushrooms. You win. Jimmy recognized my anger and started cleaning the room without... Oh. You win. Jimmy recognized my anger and started cleaning the room without a word. Hmm. As long as he learned his lesson. The end of high school. Oh, and we got the S ranking for that. <laughs> Alright. Whoops. Um, okay. Ah. Oh, his, I guess his isn't as important because it's a weird, it's a weird colored block uh, as apart from the rest of them, so. Um, okay, so, yeah, not too many more to go. Okay, so let's do that again. Oops. Ah, no. Click it. Start it. Retry. Okay. 
There we go. Um, do, 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 do. Let me see how this will work. Um, that maybe, maybe? Okay, yeah, that works. Alright. Jimmy finally came back. His gaming console was lying in the middle of the, spill, of the spilled water like an island in the middle of a dark lake. He lost it. How dare you break my console? How, how dare you not wash your clothes for so long? It's none of your business. Oh, but it is. It's not even the first time. What are you talking about? I'm talking about those photos that you secretly took. I'm the one who posted them. Oh, it was Rocky that did that. Oh, what an asshole. What did you say? You have a crush on Lee Wynn, right? You even stalked her. You're such a psycho and a loser. If you really like her, why don't you just tell her already? None of your business! Jimmy tossed his console away and lunged at me. We were wrestling rolling in a dirty water until the RA pulled us apart. I think, uh, isn't Rocky supposed to be like a lot stronger than this guy? Oh, well, anyway. He made it clear that if we didn't already graduate, he would have made sure that we suffered the most severe consequences. The night Jimmy and I went to the grill bar near school and ate an unhealthy amount of chicken wings. That was the end of our high school era. I'd miss it. <laughs> Bunk bros in the end. No. <laughs> um, that's what we get for his getting his alternate ending or something like that. The yogurt tasted stranger than usual. Had it gone bad, maybe? Well, that actually be great for me. I could just hide in the infirmary with a stomach ache as my excuse. With such a legitimate reason, no one should be able to say anything else about me. I held my breath and drank the whole cup. The art classroom was on the way to the infirmary. I couldn't help myself, so I snuck up to the back door and tried to peek inside through the small glass window. They were doing sketch practice today. Mr. Wynn was standing with his back towards me, looking at Rocky's sketch. What was Rocky drawing? That Mr. Wren would be watching so closely. I stood up on my toes. He suddenly turned around. Thank God I crouched down just in time. However, the sudden movement must have caused my stomach to start hurting. I felt like it was a bad cramp. Fortunately, it wasn't too bad. I finally got to the infirmary with a hand pressed across my stomach. I stayed there until the end of school. Until the end of school this school day? Or Oh, anyway. So we get Rocky's A ending, which is, I guess, got us an achievement. So there you go. Uh, as being bunk bros. Anyway, let's get the final um, final one for her. I think I have an idea of, of how to get this one. Uh, all right. That should be it. Doo -doo. Let's get that S ending. Everyone gets S's. The ochre tastes kind of strange. Stranger than usual, I should say. Well, if it had gone bad, that would actually be great for me. I could just go and hide in the infirmary with the stomach ache as my excuse. For such a limited reason, no one could say anything else about me. I held my breath and drank the old cup. Our classroom was on the way to the infirmary. Uh, okay, that's the same. Rocky was sound asleep, drooling with his mouth open. How does switching stuff around make him... Eh, whatever. Jing was so focused, Mr. Rand would be insane to tear up her sketch this time. Mr. Rand was standing with his back towards me, looking at Jing's sketch. He must have liked it to be looking at it so closely. I stood up on my toes and tried to see her sketch for myself, but I suddenly turned around. Thank God I crouched down in time. However, the sudden movement must have caused my stomach to start hurting. It felt like I was a bad cramp. Oh, it was getting worse and worse. I leaned against the door and crumpled. I felt like I was dreaming. In my dream, he must he was carrying me on his back and asking me where I wanted to go. I said I wanted to go and see the rainbow at Shulong Mountain. I heard that the rainbow was gorgeous there. He said okay. But Shulong Mountain that was hard to get to. Even taxis wouldn't take us. So Mr. Ren Wind carried me on his back, kept running, running, and running. I fell asleep in his dream too. Or in the dream too. But did we ever get to see the rainbow or not? Nevertheless it didn't really matter. I just wanted the dream to last a little longer and longer and longer. Hmm. Well, how nice, I think. <laughs> All right, well, that's NAS rank for those guys. Yeah, it looks like Rocky's story is kind of its own separate thing. I doubt it. I have a feeling that Rocky almost has little to nothing to do with the main plot other than this one thing. I bet he doesn't have any other stories. I mean, it could be wrong. Maybe he has, like, one more, but it's mainly because of the color of the uh, of the S. That's kind of throwing me off in this case. Anyway, let's get some more postage. Street fight. So, Street Fighter 2 or something like that? The final goodbye. Hmm, interesting. Uh, time-wise, probably should do the Street Fight one, I'm thinking. So, let's do that one. Street Fight. <laughs> Was it, is it actually Street Fighter? Like, are we going to play as Ken, Ryu, and all that other fun stuff, you know? Well, I guess we'll find out here in a second. And the... Uh, 
I almost forgot. Wait, oh, Jeremy's, uh, at, uh, looks like Jeremy's model has changed slightly. I wonder what happened to him. Hmm, interesting. The largest arcade of Monk Cock. Time Reversal Cup, the Princess Fighter 97 Nostalgia Tournament. Okay, I can't highlight or anything with that, so it's not a, a unique, uh, I think it's because it's light blue and not dark blue. The Time Reversal Cup had been the biggest tournament for the classic fighting games in Hong Kong for a few years. It also been an important scene of a source of income in my post-college independent life. Oh, this is like way after he's, uh, like he's, oh yeah, he's even past college, so he's an adult now. After graduating from college last year, I moved down to my parents' house and rented a 30 square meter studio with a standalone bedroom. I never knew that rent could be so expensive. I never understood why people would, would want to buy stuff on sale. I never realized the part-time jobs barely paid anything. Wow, what a dick. This was the kid who had a crush on that one girl. He probably got over that after a while just because of because of that one scene where he found out Mr. Wynn was the one she was interested in. So, not till I lost financial support my father and mother died, I began to appreciate the challenges of life. Oh, they they uh, they uh, dropped you cold, huh? Therefore, I must win the tournament. Prize money for winning the championship would be enough to cover my expenses for three months. I had arrived not too long ago and had been testing my machine. People were beginning to gather around, many of whom kept taking pictures with their phones. As the two-time defending champion, I had been placed directly in the semifinals, so I was expecting a little tension. However, today, I was feeling very suspicious about every one of these people. I was about to go and hide in the bathroom for a little while before the match. Suddenly, a wave of excitement washed over the crowd. A small kid just walked up to the machine up, 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 opposite mine. He was in his school uniform, wearing a pair of glasses, and his hair was parted to the left. The staff thought we didn't know each other and started making introductions. Um, this is the primary school killer. You must have heard of him. Oh. Um, okay. He has no, mo no more rivals than the uh, than left in the Sim Sha Sui area. Last week he challenged the entire North K arcade. I only dared even say a soul uh, say a word. I never thought he'd be my opponent today. I suddenly cursed all the gods and goddesses in my head. I thought you only worshipped the god of fortune. What happened now? Anyway. Uh, and then the punk kid held his thumb down and made a face at me. The crowd booed loudly. The booing went right into my head, along with the history of our rivalry. Now watch out, you punk. Big Brother's going to teach you a lesson for the sake of your parents. Let me show you how to be polite and respect your seniors. Um, I guess that's middle finger? My Yugami versus his Kusanagi. Two games out of three. In all honesty, our raw skill were mostly on the same level. But every time I played this kid, he would always be able to get into my head and mess up my inputs. I would be thinking of a strict punch but press a kick. I was trashed in the first game. I tried my damnedest best to win the second game. Here comes the deciding game. Wow, he became a douche. Look at that. Anyway, the crowd became had become wild. Time to go to hell, you little punk. Hell! 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 Okay. At this point, both of our HP gauges were almost alarmingly low. Our special moves were both fully charged and ready to go as well. If either of us made a mistake right now, the other would immediately land a combo and finish the game. I slightly wiggled my sweaty right hand and feigned a retreat. The idiot kid took my bait. He's punched with. Now's my chance. I command Yogami to jump behind him and ready to unleash the final combo. Yogami isn't a Street Fighter character name. Never either. Geshikai Yori Yori! 2B! 5A! 127 Shikai Kai Hani Hana 1! 127 Shikai Kai Hani 2! After two consecutive Akai, Akai ah, Hana, my opponent had just been thrown in midair. I was finally time to end this game with a desperate move. Joystick! Right, corner right, down, corner left, left. Well, that's not how it's actually done. Corner stick, half circle, to the right, hard punch C. Ghostly purple flames appeared in Yogami's hands. Light pillars were bursting from the ground, one after the other. What are you, uh, Akuma? Basically, desperation move. Ura, 108, Shikai Yo sh sh Sakazuki. Oh crap, that was the wrong move. It was an amazing move that could stun the opponent, but its only drawback was that it was too also slow. Kosanagi quickly air, air text air te away from the pillars, nullify my attack. Oh shit! The punk kid smiled behind his glasses. Kosanagi jumped on top of me and hit me right in the face. I was still in recovery from the previous move, so I couldn't defend myself. Kosanagi then kicked me in the air. Raging fire erupted in his right hand as he held it high. By the ca Castle Grey Skull! All right, anyway. It then turned into devouring fireball while I was staring in shock. It blew Yogami into the sky! K.O. As Yogami fell flying towards the screen, my heart was sinking all the way into the ground. I lost. My prize gone! I might have been able, I might have to borrow money from my father to cover the rent this month. He would once again try to persuade me to go to work at his company. My mother would then try to set me up on a blind date, force me to meet people I had absolutely no interest in. 
if this kid wasn't such a douche, I'd say he's very similar to me in a lot of respects, but anyway. Uh, yet I would have no, I would have to pretend to smile the whole time. No! My dear goddess of fortune, please take me away from here. Wow, this is one of the more selfish letters out of all of them. Actually, most of Jimmy's have been pretty selfish for the most part. And he looks like a total wacko douche. Oh, now we have to do comp. Well, that's different. Okay, anyway, now that I know I can't, uh, move it above or below it, so now I know what I'm looking at, so. Alright, what's his, uh... Oh, right, we wanna... Whoops. Okay, so... Wow, if that's his bad one, it looks like all of them are bad for the most part, so that'll be interesting. Um, okay. It, this is definitely one of the more d interesting puzzles, just because of the whole... Like, how would I know, like, which... which combo is the best combo, you know? Like, it's... I, I mean... Do you have to have knowledge of Street Fighter? I mean, I've played Street Fighter before, but how would I know what the best combo is? It seems like trial and error. Anyway, you got me step forward, leap behind in the air, and slam Kosanagi into the ground. Special move, 127, Shikai, Ao, Hana, 3. Oh crap, that was the wrong move. It sounds like this one's just more of a um, elimination type of thing, where it's just like, well, you gotta figure it out eventually. Once the opponent was knocked into the ground, the combo was terminated, but any of the combos with the special moves not powerful enough to KO him. I quickly readjusted the joystick, followed it, ready to follow him up with the Yomi Barai to hinder his movement from a distance. However, my momentary hesitation was already decided the result of the game. Oh shit. The punk kid smiled behind glasses. Well, I'm still. Uh, um, uh, don't hit me around the face. Yeah, read your fire. Okay, turn about our firebomb. I was wondering which ones were going to be. Uh, heart sinking. I lost my prize, gone. Way, way, way. Alright. So that's the next. Ending there. Okay, let's try again. Let's see how many times we can super fail. Super fail. I wonder if it. I wonder if it changes if I swap those around. I bet so. Of course, because of the combos and everything like that. Anyway, yeah, what the? Um, an energy was burst off the ground and blasted towards Kosanagi. Special move. 108 Shikai Yomi Brai. Oh, crap, that was the wrong move. Um, oh. Sorry. Kusanagi was still in the midair, but I mistakenly launched a shockwave that crawled along the ground. The wave went right below Kusanagi and completely missed him. Usually moves like that could work, but yeah, you have to kind of time it better. Or before the attack anticipated, uh, Kusanagi quickly air attacked and dashed towards me. I hastily adjusted my joystick and tried to change it into Akai Hana to deter his aggression. I assume the way you're supposed to figure this out is by getting the different endings. You're supposed to see like, which combo works, but anyway. Uh, resolve the game. Kid went smiled. Went too slow. Uh, maybe the face. Oh, it's different. Oh, no, it's... Oh, it's... Uh, no, that's the same. Anyway, firebomb, okay. KO. I'm screwed. Game over. I suck. Get cut. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so... And then let's just do... That. Maybe that will probably change something. Okay. Well, now, I think that leaves only one more combo, which will be the S combo, so. Hey! You only only threw a hard punch. Kosanagi jumped backwards and casually dodged the attack. Wait, where's my desperation move? I froze. The announcer froze. Even the audience froze. I completely panicked. I couldn't even remember what to do anymore. I just kept mashing at the joystick and the buttons. Pumpkin spawn. There was... Uh... Right in the face. Yeah, firebomb. Okay, so the difference was just the beginning, because basically it just didn't even activate the move. Because you suck at video games. Just like me. Nah, I'm okay. I'm just... Because you want the hard C to go last. In this case. Because otherwise, every time you do those de uh, moves, it's just kind of... Yomi's hand merged, morphed into a blur. He grabbed Kusanagi in the air and slammed him into the ground. Almost kind of reminds me of one of Zangief's moves. His attacks, fueled with every last of his power, washed over his opponent like an unstoppable waterfall. Kusanagi couldn't even hold his posture anymore. Desperation move, Ken. 12-11, Shikai Yo Otomi! K.O. Yes! Three months of expenses. See how it's done, you little punk? After the ceremony, I was about to duck out of the arcade quietly when the punk hit suddenly blocked my way. What, do you want to look for real fight now? Don't you know my fame of beating up both the senior home and the kindergartner on the same day? I quietly thought to myself. Congratulations, mister! I bought you this newspaper as a special gift to you. I took the newspaper and it was some random tabloid. Cover page, headline. Despicable Hong Kong youth molest childs in the street. What the hell was this? 
Several months ago, I had beaten up the little punk primary school killer pretty badly in a, another casual tournament. Then a few days later, an article began circulating on the internet about me taking off my pants on the street and mooning some little kid. There was even a picture to go with it. Yet, whether you judged it by the shape or the percentage of body fat, that was not my butt in the picture. And the funny thing was, when I tried to remove the center bars from the picture, through some technical magic, I realized that the kid in the picture was exactly this little punk. When I had, a, when I ever, when had I ever taken a picture with him? Besides, what kind of twisted mind would make up such a gross and embarrassing idea in the first place, not to mention actually going through the trouble of faking a picture? Afterwards, I had to hack a dozen websites to delete all the related articles. Now you had it printed off... Now you had it printed off on paper, middle finger. I don't know what, who was more despicable in this whole ordeal. In any case, the more despicable the story was, the faster travel people would always believe this kind of garbage. The people in the arcade were starting to stare at me. I knew they had not just come here for the tournament today. What? Did you expect me to tear the piece, paper into pieces and make a scene? Screw you, little punk. I stuffed the newspaper in the bag with my prize and walked out of the arcade. It was diz drizzling outside. Life is good when playing in my headphones. I decided to not take a cab and just walk to the apartment. I bumped into a few people, but no one gave me any trouble or even a second look. Yeah, why bother myself with other people's opinions? This was my life, the one that I always wanted. King of Fires. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we won King of Fires. All right, anyway. All right, what's our next? Um, should we just go with win, just because, well, I'm, I'm definitely going to finish. I might be able to get to the choice section of it, so probably better to do final goodbye. Uh-oh. What's going on with Mr. Wynn here? Is he is he not long for this world? Well, probably. I don't know. He's, like I said, been depressed. I wonder how many years have passed and all that other stuff. I sat, I sat in the exam room of the hospital. My fingers kept tapping my knee. Maybe it's because of my past experiences, but any time I had to deal with a hospital, I would always worry about the worst outcome. After a long while, the doctor finally came back. He closed the door and sat down in front of me. My hands clenched into fists. He opened the test results and read them through uh, read, read through them. Then he looked up from the documents and stared at me. Your, um, I meant, what is your relationship with her? The diagnosis is stomach cancer. I was stunned. It really was the worst outcome. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't really remember what the doctor had said afterwards. I took the test results and went back to the patient's room. I looked at her, still sound asleep. I was wondering if she would just keep sleeping like this. Maybe she would never wake up again. Yang Yang had told me her story. She had been all alone, with no family for a long time, just like me. And now with this diagnosis, she would have had to deal with this all by herself. I could see her bright eyes look into mine and the flickering candle lights. I crumpled the test results in my hands. Went to Jorin. Oh, so this is what happened to that lady in the picture was she had stomach cancer? So were they even a thing, or did she just kind of run across this girl? So is this a past thing or something, or is this recent? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so, wow, this one's actually kind of, uh, and it's short, too. What's a, uh, okay, let's do that. Oh, there's only two. You can only get one or the other. Okay, um, well, we've already got the bad one already, so I assume just moving this around will get the, uh, I, okay, I guess that's it. Wow, this one's kind of weird. I guess it's more for story purposes to figure out what either Mr. Wynn's story or whatever. I sat on the steps of the hospital stunned. I thought the doctor was going to tell me about her condition, but he'd given me the test results from my previous hospital stay. About a month ago, I'd been fighting, I had been in a fight with someone. So instead of it, her getting cancer, the S rank is him getting cancer. Okay. <laughs> there must be some sense of that. Uh, I had been a little rusty and too hot-headed, and one of my ribs was broken. I had to ask for sick leave from the school because I had to stay in the hospital for a while. Oh, so this takes place after... That's why he disappeared for a while from the school, because he got into a fight or whatever. The doctor was very attentive. After I recovered, he suggested I get a full physical. I realized I hadn't had a physical for a long time, so I thought I might as well get one. Little did I know that I'd be getting <laughs> such a surprise. It's gone dark outside now. I picked up the test results, got up, and went back to the patient's room. The nurse had just taken her temperature as I saw Lee Wynn's hand hanging out of the sheets, her collar all messed up. I carefully tucked her hand back into the sheets and tried not to wake her up. So is the bad ending supposed to be what happened to a previous person he knew? And then this, the, by changing it around, we find out what's going on currently? Hmm. Anyway. Oh, and this is after he helped her, after she passed out or whatever. And he's just remembering something. That's why he's so depressed, because he has stomach cancer. 
Or, they said stomach cancer, right? Okay. Anyway, carefully tucked her hand back into the sheets, trying not to wake her. She seemed to be dreaming. She suddenly turned her face to the side and mumbled something. Her face was only inches away from mine. I couldn't move for a second. I remember what happened the day I fainted in my apartment. Even though my heart had stopped, I hadn't been breathing. I had been conscious. I felt someone pressing my chest. I felt someone yelling my name. I felt someone. I knew it was her, but I couldn't move at all. No, actually, I could. But I was thinking, perhaps I should just let go. Let it go, let it go, and all of this would be over. However, when I heard her crying, my heart suddenly bounced. I opened my eyes with all the strength I had, and I saw her sobbing uncontrollably. Why would she care so much about someone whom she barely knew? Why? And suddenly, I realized the reason why I cared about her so much. We were just like each other. We must have similar pasts. My strength started coming back to my body. I grabbed her hand as soon as I could so that I could tell her. I was okay. I didn't want to see her sad. Mm. Buzz for myself mm. pulled me back from my thoughts. I had a text message. I walked out of the room, leaned on the wall in the hallway, and opened my inbox. It was from Yang Ying. She would received my text about my condition, and she wanted to see me at the office, coffee house later. I pressed the delete button. It had been a habit of mine for a long time. I always deleted my texts as soon as I read them. I would always get annoyed if I had too many texts in my inbox. There were four of the texts left in the inbox. Oh, it's... Okay, it's her. It's raining. Remember to bring an umbrella with you if you're heading out, Mr. Wynn. Deleted. There's a book sign at the West Entrance right now. Brought our collection book. I think it's going to be sold out soon, Mr. Wynn. Would you like to... Would you like me to buy a copy? Deleted. The art show today is really cool. Thank you so much for the ticket, Mr. Wynn. I'm in a gift shop near the North Entrance right now. They have a lot of cute little things here. Are you coming too, Mr. Wynn? Deleted. Mr. Wynn, I'm about to head back. Thank you again. Dot, dot, dot. Deleted. S rank. Never didn't feel that great about getting that S rank, so. Well, looks like Mr. Wynn, I mean, other than. Oh, so maybe that's why he's been depressed this whole time, because he had stomach cancer and didn't want to. Well, amongst other things. But anyway. So, well, looks like very few people are having any. Actually, it looks like really only like maybe like Rocky has like any kind of good story. The rest of them are all kind of depressing and sad. Or maybe for Spotty, perhaps. But anyway, looks like we've had enough depression so in the next episode well we'll have more depression later on but in the next episode we'll deal with let's see what alicia and the detective are up to this time the the sniper and the detective who's gotten better with his boss so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time